Welcome back to From the South. On Friday, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro met with Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan to expand and strengthen cooperation through 40 bilateral agreements. The meeting took place at the Miraflores Palace in the city of Caracas, where issues of mutual interest and benefits were discussed. Venezuela and Turkey have entertained diplomatic relations since 1957, reaching a high point in 2009 with the setup of a joint cooperation commission. Last January, there was another meeting between the Venezuelan president and the Turkish Energy and Natural Resources Minister, Al Barzan Bayhaktar. We have seen trade cooperation between Turkey and Venezuela grow. The exchange, the import and export of products between the two countries is becoming more and more important. Venezuela has become an important supplier of petrochemicals for Turkey. Just a week ago, we had the visit of the Turkish Energy and Natural Resources Minister, and together we are planning to develop the entire Venezuelan energy sector. In this context, Hill reaffirmed Venezuela's commitment with the broadening of mutual cooperation. We are currently committed to explore opportunities in mining, to expand cooperation in telecommunications. You know, Venezuela and Turkey have a very efficient air connection with eight weekly flights by Turkish Airlines, and we are certain that air connection will expand in the coming months with more passenger and cargo flights. On his part, Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan said both countries entertain good relations, especially in the areas of trade, mining and energy. ...between Turkey and Venezuela. As you know, relations between Turkey and Venezuela are improving more and more, especially economic relations in trade, mining, energy, agriculture, and tourism. We have a great potential. The Turkish foreign minister said that the presidents of both Venezuela and Turkey have agreed to increase bilateral trade. We have reached a turnover of $800 billion, but this year we want to increase it to $3 billion as requested by our leaders.